Guys, we did it. We got the trailer for the new Boss Baby. Okay, but in all seriousness, we actually got this new first trailer for the BMO special of the new Adventure Time Distant Land specials on HBO Max. Now, there's a lot to unpack from this trailer, so I'm going to be going through it, uh, I guess, scene by scene and trying to find little easter eggs. I'm not going to make that much theories because they'll probably just be wrong and that kind of just be a waste of time, but I will be going through the scenes and just pointing out interesting things that I see. Obviously, watch the trailer yourself if you haven't seen it yet, and I'll just be going through everything, starting right now. A so, as the narrator was about to explain, and as is completely obvious, this special obviously takes place in space. And we can assume that it, in large part, will take place in this location, wherever this is. And later in the trailer, it's shown that these little bubble things have like different environments in them, which we can also see Bimo in later, so he'll probably be exploring those. And alien world stands at the brink of destruction. Amid the chaos, I'm in trouble. A weary traveler arrives. <laughs> and there he is, the new Joker. I mean, Bimo. Uh, we don't know how he got here or why specifically he was in space in the first place and somehow got here, but we'll probably find out. Phew, I thought that I was too spread for sure. Is now, we know that Bimo is going to be spending a majority of this special trying to help uh, these people on this weird uh, space station thing, going through all these domes uh, with this bunny character and I guess trying to help them solve all their problems, somehow. And he also has a hat that looks like Plankton. Okay, I know this might seem like a weird spot to pause, but I think this actually gives us a really good clue as to when this special takes place. Now, the two characters that are not Bimo and the Bunny, uh, they have Jake-like eyes and jowls, and they're in robot suits. If you don't recall, there was um, a kingdom, I guess the Pup Kingdom, in the future of Ooh in the final episode, that had an elevator into space, and I'm guessing that led Jake and his ancestors to spread across the galaxy and become like a galaxy-wide uh, race, I suppose. And these are likely the descendants of Jake and Lady. Seeing these two characters here makes me pretty sure that this special does take place a thousand years in the future, so Finn and Jake are probably not alive. Which is an infinitely depressing thought. But, at the same time, with this being a thousand years in the future, there's a lot of possibilities, and this could be really interesting. The hero who will finally save this troubled world from this destruction. Yes, I will save your terrible land. It does need a saving, correct? Yes! Okay, so immediately this image was one of the most striking ones in the entire trailer for me, because if you look you can see a person who looks very, very similar to Cuber. It's likely a person of the same species or whatever or something. And then you can also see uh, the Void Caster from Season 6, Episode 2, Escape from the Citadel. I don't know if it's the same one or if it's a member of the same species. He's, I think he's wearing a different cloak. But it could very well be him. Or at the very least, seeing a member of the same species is a really cool detail. And it just it highlights, and more specifically, I guess cements that this is, indeed, sometime in the future. Nothing really to add about the weird bug guy or the bat thing. They just kind of look cool, and they're likely in some sort of weird alien market. The ship is here to help. Tell me what you need. Bimo, there's a pot in danger. You can swim, right? Yes, but badly. Get it out! Get out okay, so I wanted to highlight a few things about this shot in particular. First of all, the art direction is, is just beautiful. I mean, look at this, like, damn. Those blues and reds, they really, really pop. I also love how everything's illuminated by a sort of weird, eerie glow and blue light. Adventure Time's, one of its greatest strengths has always been establishing atmosphere through setting, and I think this special will do a great job of that if this is anything to go by. Another thing that you'll probably notice is that scattered all throughout this image are is the word or name Hugo. I could theorize what that's about, but I have absolutely no idea what that could mean. 
Um, a little weird detail that I noticed that really doesn't probably mean anything, but I thought was just, like kind of weird, was that there's like in the bottom uh, left corner, there's a little kiosk or some stand or whatever, and the shape of whatever that is looks like Finn's hat. I don't know what that's about, but I just think it stands out a little bit. Looks kind of weird. Anyway, that's all I wanted to point out about this shot right here. I do hope we get to see more atmospheric little locations like this scattered throughout the rest of the special and the other specials as well. They're just really cool to look at, and I'd like to see more. Why are you screaming? That's not what I do! What I do sometimes! Whoa! We're on the verge of station-wide collapse! Uh, okay, I just thought this one was kind of interesting because the space station thing or whatever that was shown before was mostly flat, so I can only assume this is one of those little biosphere uh, realms, I guess, pouring into another one. Not really much to say there, that just seems like it, it'll be really interesting. And those fish are cool too. Ah! Help! Did you just light a firework on my- ah! Uh, okay, so in this short uh, burst of segments, there was only one real thing I wanted to highlight, which was uh, these two characters, which, and this is probably one of the only assumptions I'm actually going to make, one of the only theories. I think that these might be the Rabbit Girl's uh, parents. Um, I, that seems kind of likely, but I don't know. I just thought it was kind of interesting to point out. They seem to be in some sort of a lower place, I guess, in terms of uh, latitude. Our duty to investigate the citizens. I'm going to be a hero. Let's ride. Yeehaw! Adventure Time Distant Lands. BMO. Coming soon. Only on HBO Max. You like what you see, huh? You got the good taste. And alas, we've made it to the end of the trailer. Uh, in this last burst of scenes, there's not that much to talk about. It's just mostly Bimo zooming around, saying he's going to save the entire universe. And uh, honestly, I'm just excited to see how he does it. I will note, though, that in this scene, Bimo is riding um, a space lard that we saw back in um, Astral Plane. But also, uh, something weird is that this society appears to only be populated by three types of people. Uh, rabbit people, weird elf-looking aliens, and bug guys. Don't really know what that's about, but who knows? We'll probably get some sort of weird explanation. So yeah, that's about it. That is my trailer analysis for the first trailer for the BMO Adventure Time Special coming to HBO Max soon. Hopefully within the next few months, because I really am anticipating this. I need this. There has been a stark lack of BMO in my life for the past like year and a half. So this will be a welcome uh, diversion from that. Four heaping pounds of freshly ground... Plankton? I warned you. Ah!